here, I'm going to show you how to prevent errors from appearing in formulas in Excel. So over here, I have two examples of formulas that I'll put an error. But instead of seeing the error, we see a nice, beautiful, lovely response, not found, not found. And I'm going to show you how to do this for new versions and old versions of Excel. So here I have a very basic table, apple, orange, carrot, yum, yum, yuck. And we want to look up and find a value using this cell right here. So in this case, we're going to look up onion and return the value here and here. If I look up apple, we should get a result, yum, yum. For onion, not found, not found. Now, without error checking, what we would have gotten is, and this is a VLOOKUP, but don't worry, it's a very simple one. We would have gotten this. In a not so nice so what we can do for new versions of Excel this is great get your formula your function exactly how you want it make sure everything is good then copy it go over here and what you want to type is equals if error it is maybe the best thing added for Excel 2007 as far as formulas are concerned. So if error, and you have two arguments, value and value if error. So value is your formula, your function. So you just paste that right in there, no equal sign. And then value if error is, what do you want to do if there's an error? Well, I want to output some text. You could put a formula in here if you wanted as well, but we're just going to output some text in this example. So not found just like that and if you wanted to oftentimes people want to leave it blank just use two quotation marks with nothing between it or maybe you want a little dash like this so you can have whatever you want there and it makes there we go it makes handling your errors so easy now let's go do it for the old version of Excel. This one, a little bit more involved, but not actually that difficult. The thing is that what we have to do here is we have to combine an if statement with the isError function. So basically, all that the newer versions of Excel did is combine these two functions, if and isError. You see isError and isError. We want isError. Now we put our VLOOKUP in there, close the parentheses, and the isError function will tell us if this returns an error or not. And then we figure out what to do if there is an error. So if there is an error, then I want to output something not found. Of course, this is an if statement. You can put whatever you want here. We're going to put simple text value if false. We just have to put it back in there, then close parentheses. So if this did not throw an error, then go ahead and do this. You could put another function or another formula here if you wanted to. That's up to you. But for the most part, you're just going to copy paste the exact same thing that you put up here in the is error function. It's kind of fun now to look back at how you used to have to do things. So this is how it used to be. There we go. Not found. And this is how it is now. Nice, neat, simple. And of course, at the end, go ahead and make sure everything works. Perfect.